which is crazy. We could just leave the shop. We could just leave the shop with nothing. I do want this too. Max this out and get this maxed out. Yo, 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 everybody, what's going on? It is Lotus here, back with another Nordic Ashes run. Hopefully, you all have been enjoying the content. If so, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts. I do greatly appreciate it, as we are on our way to a 1,000 subscribers. And it does show that 99% of you guys are not subscribed. So make sure you guys smash that subscribe button down below, and I would greatly appreciate it. It helps the channel out a lot. And uh, lets me know that you guys are willing to come back and watch some more. You guys can also ding that bell notification on to uh, get notified when a new video is live. I do upload every single day. Without further ado, let's jump right on into this. If you guys didn't see the last episode, <clears throat> definitely go check it out. We played half Grim and it was pretty, or, ah. yeah, we played half Grim and it was pretty crazy. Ah. We unlocked Amaranth, so we're going to try her out. Uh, damage dealt by summoned creatures is increased by 25%. Any other kind of relic damage is reduced by 50%. And we only have Ivy, so we're going to try this out, um, and I think it's going to be pretty interesting, um, because I don't know how it's going to go, since we, we we don't have any summon relics, so I don't, I don't know how this is going to work. Um, Ivy simply loves to follow you, flowers appear around you that will damage enemies and also collect the XP they touch. Oh, interesting. Summons 10 wild plants that appear under enemies 13 times. Okay. Summons plants that shoot at enemies. Summons plants that seek out enemies, damaging and poisoning them. Summons a spicy pepper that goes towards an enemy and explodes in flames. Target the nearest enemy and explode. Okay, okay. So poison, shooter, fire, or explosion. What are these guys? Increase the damage of summoning relics by 50%. Okay. That seems pretty good. Increase the damage of non-summoning relics by 50%. Okay. Get a green heart every 54 seconds. Alright. Potions dropped from crates or enemies have a 25% chance of turning into a green potion. Ooh. Okay. Increase the attack speed by 10% for each green heart you have. Increase the movement speed by... For each green heart you have. Okay. I think I like attack speed for that one, to be honest with you. But, let's jump in and uh, juice this, this guy up. Um, cooldown, damage duration, damage cooldown. Ooh, more summons I'll definitely take. Okay, we can't do that. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go for... Hmm... I think I was going to go for poison. But I do like the shooter. You know what? Let's do shooter instead. Let's go that route. Try this out. Okay. This is interesting. Oh, so it just... Okay, okay. I see, I see now. It spawns the flowers, and the flowers is what collects the XP and stuff like that. <clears throat> okay. Damage plus one, attack speed plus 10%. Alright. Ooh, I don't know if I... I don't know if I like this. Definitely different. <laughs> Definitely need more summons. Cooldown would be very good too. Ooh, and XP for sure. XP for sure. Okay. Ooh, I do like the shooters. <clears throat> the shooters are nice. Okay. I, 
I definitely am a fan of the shooter. I don't know about the rest. Okay. So the, the flower is one shot, which is very interesting. Ooh. Cool tonic. Spec prop. Okay, I mean, I don't think that's the end of the world for Dude. This one I definitely want damage and summons. Okay, it's all right. The more summons, you get more of the flowers, which I think is something that you should definitely aim for. I feel pretty strong. Movement speed plus 20, I'll definitely take. I love movement speed, can't say no to that. Okay, she doesn't seem too bad now. At the start, it was, I was a little skeptical. I was like, eh, I don't know about this. But she doesn't seem too bad now. Effect props. We don't really need this one, though. Like, effect props probably would be good if we were running, like, the, um... The, uh, damage one. Or not the damage one, the, uh, poison one. Which we're not. Let's head down to this one. What do we got down here? Oh, okay, I guess we're taking poison projectiles. What does that one do again? Poison enemies have a 25% chance of throwing one poison ball. Okay, I mean, we're not really running poison, but uh, I guess I'll take it. Um, I want damage and summons. I don't think we're going to get it, though. Three flowers grow around the main flower. Okay. Oh, they're like smaller ones. Okay. Cool. I feel pretty strong right now. Like, I, I don't feel like I'm in a bad spot running, uh, running this. I do like the range shooters, though. Those are very nice. I do like that. I do also like that it picks up the XP for me. That is super huge. Crap, I totally did not see that. I do like that. We need to go to the gold mine too. We haven't picked anything up in the gold mine. And down there, see what we got going on. Probably full. Oh no, not yet. We're getting close though. We have 26. That's not bad. Oh, an XP ring. I definitely want that. Ooh, but gold drop. It's like five or six gold right there. I think it was six. So I'll definitely take that. Okay. You can grab that guy. Zoomy zoom now. Thanks, dude. Okay, there we go. Uh, movement speed. I think I'm going to go with axe speed. 
But I'm gonna go for. Ooh. So the space pit that forge an enemy and explodes in flames. Explode. I think I'm gonna go this route. Just so I can unlock um Increase the damage of summoning relics by 50%. Okay, let's do this guy first. Okay. And then we're gonna get damage. We're gonna juice damage up as well. And then after we juice damage up, we're gonna go with this guy. You get a green heart every. I mean, this seems pretty good too. I do like the movement speed though. The movement speed feels amazing. I mean, we have no green hearts right now, but uh, that's besides the point. See how quick we, quickly, let's see how quickly we shred the. Holy crap! We destroyed it. What the heck, dude? I looked, I looked off the screen one second, and all of a sudden he's gone. Okay then. Um, that was uh, way quicker than uh, expected. Um, that was absolutely insane. Um. Here, I'll take the blue heart. Two full red heart containers. Yeah. Oh, crap, I should've took that one. 100% damage while you only have one red heart or less. Whoops. Yeah, I can reroll one more. Summons meteors from the sky. I wonder if this counts as something. I don't know. Alright, let's head on out of here. Um, we do have this guy. Let's get this. I mean, this could be pretty good too. I think I want to take this. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind more summons. Each attack fires a burst of three projectiles. Ooh, that seems pretty good. That seems pretty good. <clears throat> Ooh, they're bigger too, it looks like. Okay. Boom is speed, plus 15%. I, I want it, but I also don't want it. I don't want to lose whatever else, like... Creates an area around you that freezes? I mean, that doesn't sound too bad. And we that's the first time we've seen that, so <clears throat> it might not be bad to go that way. <clears throat> okay, let's head up this, this direction. Let's head up this way. We got the shield, and we still have that potion. Okay. <clears throat> I mean... Neither of them are great. I mean, the shield isn't bad, but if we get hit, we lose it, so it's like, eh. I don't know. We absolutely shred bosses. Like, this is insane. This is crazy. We shred, like, everything in sight. I was like, is something gonna spawn on those guys that are like right near me? And nothing, nothing ended up spawning, so. Go here and grab this guy. We got hit, nothing. Oh, that's a huge area. That's it, that's a huge area. Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting it to be that big. That's, that's a crazy area. We could probably just sit here, to be honest, and just. Just sit back and chillax, man. Not have to worry about a thing. Just 
just hang on out. You know? Totally just stand still with her. Definitely not getting any XP though. We definitely need the levels right now to help us level up for, um, get that last XP one. And we still have another shopping phase too, which is crazy. We could just leave the shop. We could just leave the shop with nothing. I do want this too. Max this out and get this maxed out. Okay. I think I'm gonna go for attack speed. Crap, dude, I'm actually hit it. We're sitting pretty good right now. I mean, we have like three altars on the map, but I don't really, I don't really care to go for them because of what they are. So we'll see how this goes. I mean, right now it looks looks pretty okay to me. We're up to 10, 9, about to hit 10. Yeah, dude, we just shred these elites. It's insane on how much damage we do. Cooldown, duration, area. Let's go cooldown on this guy. Like, we just do, we just dish out so much damage. Like, it's like, it's like we're unstoppable. Grab you. Four to nine? That seems pretty wild. <clears throat> um, let's do you. I do want to max out damage as well. So I need five, six, seven, I need ten. I need 19 points. <clears throat> I do want to get a point into this as well. Just to unlock a second um, ascension uh, item. Basically, so we can do dual ascensions um, on whoever we want in the next run. Um, I mean, we'll probably do dual ascension on Ivy, but we'll have. The second one unlocked for this one, the second one unlocked for this one, and then all we have to do is run these two and unlock uh, the second one on both of those, and we'll be, we'll be in a pretty good spot. Which is probably what we'll do. I don't know if we'll do it in the next episode, but we'll definitely do it um, in the next Amaranth run. Um, we'll end up doing that. Um, just so we can get all of them unlocked, so we can run just dual ascensions on whatever we want. So, that'd be pretty cool. <clears throat> looking pretty good, though. I'd say we're not looking too bad. We'll probably absolutely shred this guy, so I'm not really too worried about it. Ooh, took a hit there. Wasn't paying too close attention, but, uh, yeah, he, he had nothing on us. He got smoked pretty quick. Pick another blue heart. Um, not a summon. Burn enemies have. Eh. I mean, another red full heart container. Arrows. Grants a blue heart. Like that. Um, and let's, I guess, head on out. I do want this. Three berries are summoned instead of one. Okay, I'll tell you that. Um, and then let's get this guy. Okay. Twenty-one times. Holy smokes, dude! 
Let's max this out. I do want to max this out. And then... Sure. Maybe it'll make the uh, flowers uh, underneath bigger. Oh, they, they actually blow up pretty pretty quick. They seek out enemies, but they blow up like almost immediately. They don't last very long to like seek out enemies. Crap, I didn't see that one there. I'll take this for another projectile. Why not? The build you can definitely stand still with. Like, you definitely don't have to move at all with this build. You're not going to level up very quickly, it feels like, though. Or if your uh, summons don't target the bosses, you'll have to move. But other than that, like, I mean, I feel like we're pretty... I feel like we're pretty good. In a pretty good spot. I don't feel like we're... I mean, yes, it is normal on Midgard, so, like... I feel like we're not going to struggle at all, but still. And I feel like we're probably going to smoke um, Ragnar. Like, I feel like he's going to have absolutely nothing on us. Alright, yeah, like, dude, we're flipping easy, man. Um, let's see. I already know what all three of these altars are, and I don't really want them. Yeah, I don't really want any of them, so I guess we'll head up here. To, um... The crit one. We actually got a decent amount of meta progression in this run. I mean, yeah, it's only 64, but it's like, we're on normal with 0% increase. I do like the auto pickup on XP though, with um, with the flowers. I do like that. I like that a lot. Um, sure, I'll do that. I do want more summons. I feel like juice that up. Okay. Yeah, like we. I feel like we're pretty pretty dang strong, man. Pretty dang strong. Ain't got nothing on us. Hang on out, man. Okay. I mean, we do have the ring, too, that we can pop whenever. Okay. Kind of a... Feels like a slow run, you know? Like, you don't have to worry about much with, uh... Amaranth, it feels like. And I have realized with the area, with the area, your your shooters get bigger, which makes the balls that it shoots bigger, which is very interesting. Very interesting. Here comes more elites that we are absolutely gonna shred. Yeah, he's already dead. Already dead. We're probably gonna melt this guy. So I'm gonna just take this, I guess. I'm gonna pop R as soon as I'm able to. And he's dead. That is the absolute fastest that we've killed anybody. Use the Ivy Growth Ascension. Okay, so it looks like we can go Poison or Fire. Use the Pea Sprout Rapid Burst Ascension. Okay. Berry Explosion, use the Lingon Berry Family Ascension. Okay. Holy smokes, dude. That was crazy. 340. 273. I mean, eh. Not super great, but not, uh, not terrible. Not terrible. 
If y'all ended up enjoying that, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I do greatly appreciate it as we are on our way to a thousand. This has been Nordic Ashes, and hopefully I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.